How do you actually deal with betrayal? This is tricky because listen, Jordan Peterson, who I highly respect, the guy has, the wisdom on this man is profound. But he says, betrayal is one of the most difficult things to overcome, if not impossible. And so how do you overcome this? And we're gonna, I'm gonna give you some practical advice and also we're gonna talk about why is this so damn hard to move on from? And why can't you just let it go? Well, because you're not a frozen Disney character for one. Um, listen, if you're new here, thank you for being here. Please subscribe and like this video if you're a recurring uh, viewer. Thank you for being here. I'm very grateful to have you here. And betrayal is something that I f we all will go through at some point on our life. Maybe some minor, some very major. And listen, I have personally been through it. I'm sure I have done it myself. Um, it's that human thing that we, when we're selfish, when we're in a state of survival, sometimes we human beings do really stupid things to each other and we hurt each other. We, the fragility of relationships and, and human beings doing this thing called life in a very messy, messy way. Um, also, I just want to let you know that if you are a person and you're struggling with this and you need some guidance, you need someone to help walk you through this, do not hesitate to reach out to me for some coaching. I would be honored to walk you through this very delicate and hurtful matter. So reach out to me for coaching or go check out my online programs. So betrayal, why does it hurt? Because at the end of the day, like that's what makes relationships work is what? Trust, trusting each other. Like it's the glue, it's the foundation. And when that is broken, and, and sometimes in relationships, it's repeatedly broken. Maybe they lied to you. Maybe they had an affair. Maybe they got you to do something that was against your integrity, your character, um, whatever it is. They, they went behind your back and said some really hard shit to family. Like it comes in a variety of forms, but the one thing that doesn't change is it feels like a, a knife slashing through your heart. You feel it on a gutter level. It makes your stomach sick. It creates confusion. It can create anxiety because, you know, our relationships, it's the foundation to let us know that we are safe in this world, that we're loved, that we're not alone. When someone betrays us, sometimes we can even question our survival. It's like, wait a minute, like, you are my like pillar. You're my, you're, you're, you're part of my foundation. You're part of like what makes this world feel safe and wonderful. And when someone takes that away from you by betraying you, life can feel really unstable. Trust me. I've been through this a time or two and I've walked through clients who have been through this a time or two. So just understand this, like your reactions to this, like how you feel, totally valid, very normal. And so it becomes an issue of how are you going to respond to it? And the thing that some people will like to do is just go, I'm just going to let that go a duck, you know, off a duck's back. And so that doesn't always work because what happens is it leaves roots. It sits inside of you. It makes you question the people in your life. It makes you question the next person that you do rela relationship with. When I say it affects your foundation, just imagine an earthquake coming into your life and shaking everything in your home. That's what betrayal does to us. So when we go, okay, can I move beyond that? That is such a personal question that only you can answer. And I highly encourage you, you have to reach out to someone, whether you have a really good friend that can walk you through this or a therapist or a coach like myself, I highly encourage you to get that 
work through with someone because you need someone else to hold your hand to help balance you out, to ground you out. The other thing I would suggest is doing some body work around that. I know it sounds a bit weird, but this stuff gets, it's a visceral thing. We feel it in our body. And so it affects our nervous system. So whether you can work with a nervous system coach or a therapist or do some yin yoga, do some crying, do some punching pillows, whatever it takes. But this becomes a body thing too. And so I wanna encourage you, don't take this lightly. One, I'm sorry that that happened. It's just shitty when us human beings do this to each other. And whether or not you'll ever get an I'm sorry from that person, I just wanna tell you that I'm really sorry that you've experienced this and it wasn't fair and it wasn't right and you didn't deserve it. And so maybe that person's just in a place where they're just being an ass or maybe they're just an ass. But regardless, you have to ask yourself, am I willing to move through this? Do, do I have the, the, the ability to forgive this person? And should I be reaching out to someone to walk me through this? Because it is real. And if you do overcome it, then that in itself is a huge feat. So. Kudos to you if you do go down that path. And if you choose not to, then understand that that is your choice. And listen, we can forgive people and still not do life with them, still not do relationship with them. And you need to know that that is well okay. Because by saying no to that relationship, you can find safe people that you can start saying yes to. Now watch this video and let it support you Comment in the section below if you've been betrayed and were you the person that was able to move on or not move on. I'll see you soon and you are deeply, deeply loved.